Hi and welcome to another video presentation of CampingShowerWorld.com. Today I'm going to show you a little setup that I did uh, with the uh, EcoTemp L5 water heater coupled with the uh, FlowJet water pump. Uh, basically you'd want to use a water pump like this if you're going uh, let's say camping or any outdoor activity that you're, you're planning on doing and there's no garden faucet where you're going. So you're going in a desert for example you're not going to find a water faucet. So uh, well you're probably not going to find any water either. <laughs> so. But I um, uh, just wanted to show you that y this pump is, you can use it if you go to a location where there's no uh, garden faucet. Uh, and it provides some pretty good water pressure. Uh, I mean, don't be uh, alarmed by the size of it. Uh, the pump, meaning like, this little unit here, it's a flow jet. And I can't remember the model exactly. You can look, up, look it up on our store, campingshowerworld.com, to know the exact model. Um, but uh, this this little unit provides some really good water pressure, and uh, it's let me tell you it's not just a, a trickle that you're gonna get. And I'm gonna show you in a moment uh, what I mean by that. The I, I hooked up the uh, electrical wires to a car battery, which is uh, kind of a bad example because the car battery, uh, well, it's it, it, it's not a good idea to discharge it completely. Uh, it's not like a boat battery, so. Uh, so basically just make sure that the battery that you're using is a, is a battery meant to be discharged completely and then recharged uh, fully afterwards. Um, but just for this little example, uh, it doesn't hurt to use, uh, at least I don't think it hurts to use a car, car battery for, for uh, just little, this little uh, short example, uh, short little test actually. And, uh, <clears throat> and I've got this little bucket of water that's going to be my water source. Uh, you know, anywhere where you're going, you can use a lake or, you, just, you know, like a river or whatever. Uh, you just plunge that little tube here I just, and I just plunge it in the bucket of water. That's going to be my, uh, where, uh, you know, the wa water is going to be uh, uh, sucked from this bucket. And then it's going to go up here if, you fo fo if we follow the tube. And it's going to go right into the input of the water pump right here. And it's going to come out this way. And if we follow the tube again, it's going to it's going to go into the water input of the EcoTemp L5 water heater, and then it's going to go through the coil inside the unit, and then it's going to come out here uh, to the shower head. So the shower head is going back into the bucket. So let's start it, and you'll see you'll get an idea of what kind of water pressure that I'm uh, that I'm talking about. As you can see, that's really so. That's that's really enough for a shower. I mean, this is some really good water pressure, and it's this little pump here that's providing all that power. And uh, it's it can be really useful uh, because usually you have to rely on the water pressure of the of the uh, the garden faucet. Um, but if you don't have any garden faucet, uh, then you're going to need a pump like this, and it's uh, it's it does the job for sure. Uh, just make sure you have the right battery for the um, the power. It's kind of it's a new setup that we're uh, we're selling on CampingShowerWorld.com. We sell them together, and as you can see, it works really well. Uh, water pressure is really good, so check us out CampingShowerWorld.com.